Yo guys, what is going on? Got some EX1 gameplay for you guys featuring a ancient red deck, red hybrid uh, on the left over there. My opponent is playing green on the left, so you see he started off with the Palmon and then played the Tentamon for a cost of three, just adding that uh, plus one to his hand off the top of his deck. And then I'm going to go ahead hatch into my Digi Egg and then Digivolve into the BT6 Flame on there as well as the promo Ogunimon. So that is such a strong. Uh, uh, opening because not only do I have a warp available for the following turn, but now I have a Digimon with piercing and I'm going to play the analog youth from my hand, letting me reveal the top three cards of my deck, add any Digimon uh, to my hand, and then the rest go to the trash. So I'm going to take the uh, promo Agunimon there, leaving my opponent with just one. So just like that, I have already set up quite a bit in analog youth. I will say speeds up this deck so much, allowing you to have the extra consistency grabbing, uh, maybe if you need the promo or the ancient, uh, grabbing your combo pieces as well as allowing you to hatch uh, uh, DGX pretty much every turn anytime one of your guys dies. So then with only one memory my opponent will Digivolve the Kabuterimon in the breeding area. Um, not sure if Digivolving in the main uh, battle area would do very much because uh, Flamemon will give my Ancient Greymon piercing so there's not really any benefit to having a blocker out uh, but we're gonna see the Woodmon regardless in case maybe I uh, go into any smaller monsters that 6000 will be enough to block. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start my turn drawing. Um, I'm not sure if I had the Ancient Greymon in hand at this moment, but we're going to go ahead and move on up. Uh, oh, I guess I do, because I'm going to go ahead and attack. A Goonimon's effect allows you to, when attacking, Digivolve into an Ancient Greymon for the turn for a cost of two, but it dies at the end of the turn. Uh, and then I'm just going to check three cards, because Ancient Greymon says for each hybrid or Greymon underneath his uh, materials, you get security attack plus one. So he currently has security attack plus two and pierce going to check three cards and finally to pass turn I'm going to play another analog youth again revealing the top three cards of my deck adding any uh, Digimon so I'm going to take uh, the EX1 Agumon trash the rest and then now at the end of the turn Ancient Greymon will die because of Agunimon's effect Ancient Greymon then says when deleted you can play a level 4 or lower hybrid from your hand for no cost and then because a level 5 or higher Digimon when materials was deleted I can then suspend both my analog youths hatch uh, Digimon in the uh, Digi Egg in the breeding area, and then gaining two memory. I went back to zero, Digivolved another Flamemon, uh, or another, uh, it might have been Agumon, another Digimon, <laughs> regardless, um, and then going to go uh, into the Agunimon for a cost of two passing turn, hopefully being able to do the whole thing all over again. So you guys can kind of see what I mean in that analog youth that makes this deck, and basically most warp decks, very, very quick, uh, very fast, because it allows you to have that extra consistency while also giving you the ability to pump out Digimon pretty much every single turn. So it's really crazy. Just like that, I pretty much already have Lethal on board established. So my opponent is going to uh, Digivolve the uh, Tropiomon in the breeding area for a cost of three, which is a pretty cool card. Uh, it does suspend, I believe, uh, anything with 5,000 or lower when attacking. Uh, so pretty pretty serious stuff there, especially when you combine that with Ancient Troymon. And then you're constantly like suspending multiple Digimon every single turn. I'm going to go ahead and attack, uh, and then going to go into Ancient Greymon. And that is indeed the Flamemon, so uh, Ancient Greymon will once again have piercing, checking the rest of my opponent's security cards. Unfortunately, can't go for game because my opponent does have the blocker. Uh, but then I'm going to pass turn with that move and then suspend the analog youths, uh, hatching a Digi Egg and then gaining two memory. Going back to one, and I don't think I had another uh, level four or lower hybrid in my hand at the time. So not going to be able to play anything off of the Ancient Greymon, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but I do think I have an Aldemon in my hand as well as a couple other follow-up plays. Uh, realistically, I pretty much got this one because my opponent is at zero security. I just need one more attack uh, to go through. Maybe playing another Red Tamer would be helpful because then if I draw into an Agunimon, I can just go into that for game. So we're just going to see the Red Memory Boost uh, reveal the top four cards of the deck and then add any Red Digimon. So going to take uh, the Aldemon to my hand there and then putting the rest at the bottom of the deck, leaving my opponent with just two memory. But as we know, Green can do quite a lot with only two memory. Uh, they've got the uh, download Digimon, the Digisorption Digimon, uh, I should say, as well as uh, Hidden Potential Discovered. So lots of ways to reduce their evolution cost. Uh, and even if he goes into like a Nidhogmon here, 
uh, uh, well, we're actually going to see a needle spray and then just swing over the flame on uh, for uh, that two cost for needle spray. So already putting up the defensive card. So now I will need some form of other attack if I do want to go for game because I don't think uh, the Agumon by himself will be enough since my opponent's got the blocker. I am running Gaia Force in this build, so if I do see that, I can potentially like Gaia Force and then go for game uh, at a later point. But we're just going to see the Hercules Kabuterimon Digivolve for four. So Hercules is a very powerful monster. Uh, he has the ability to suspend uh, to, uh, any Digimon by detaching two materials. And then he's also got piercing so a really powerful digimon but not so helpful if you don't have anything in the battle area uh, because a lot of these warp decks really can just hide in the breeding area until it's time to go for game uh, so i'm just going to go ahead and digivolve the geo graymon in my breeding area uh, hopefully hoping to get a draw off of the coromon as well as a search off of the ex1 uh, agumon there um, and then lastly i'm just going to go into aldemon for a three cost uh, aldemon is a hybrid digimon he's got security attack plus one as well as the effect where if this Digimon is a hybrid or a red tamer, uh, you do get plus 4,000, so it becomes an 11,000 level 5 that can check two cards, which is pretty crazy. Uh, not really relevant in this um, like scenario, just because my opponent doesn't have security, but I just needed something to be able to attack to force the blocker, uh, so then I could potentially go for game the next turn, as you'll see uh, in just a bit. So I am at 3 memory. I can go to 5, however, with the red a memory boost. Uh, however, if I do bring anything out, there is still the Hercules to deal with because even though he's 12,000 base, the Palmon uh, does give him plus 2,000 if he attacks the Digimon, and then the Motimon gives him another plus 1,000 uh, if he is level 6 or higher during uh, my opponent's turn. So we're just going to bring out the Aldemon uh, and most likely attack uh, after. Well, first of all, we're going to proc the uh, red memory boost, go to 5 memory, uh, and then we're going to hard Digivol Ancient Greymon for a cost a 5 Ancient Greymon will then attack, uh, drawing a card because he is a Greymon, and then revealing the top 3 uh, off of the... Uh, off of the Agumander, which actually lets me uh, get the Marcus to hand, which is pretty nice, guaranteeing myself at three and then setting up for Nagunimon, so my opponent does have to block that one, and if you're wondering, well, why did you bring out your Ancient Greymon? He's just going to die to the Hercules next turn. It's actually okay, and I'm totally fine with that, because if he does run over the Ancient Greymon, he still has the uh, potential... Digimon I play from hand off of the Ancient Greymon to deal with, and plus I will suspend my analog use to basically gain two memory during his turn. So that's a really cool interruption uh, I can do. So then my opponent is going to bring out his uh, Bok uh, Bokumon? Hakumon? Bakumon? Is that dude? <laughs> the level 3, the box guy? Uh, so we're going to see that guy brought out. Uh, Mimi will be then be suspended since my opponent's got a level 5 or higher green Digimon in play. We can then just hatch another Digi Egg, uh, and then another Bakumon will be Digivolved. Uh, for a cost of zero. Uh, and then are we going to see the Hercules Kabuterimon attack? I think he has to if he doesn't have uh, any blockers. We're going to see the green hybrid Arbormon Digivolved for a cost of two. I, I still think that guy's artwork is like really funny. Agunimon and L Lobomon are doing some like crazy cool poses. And this dude's just sitting there like <laughs> with, his, with his knees like scrunched up. I think he's so funny. But anyways... My opponent will then uh, attack with the Hercules Kabuterimon. He does have piercing, so there's not really a reason to avoid the Ancient Greymon. Um, so he is going to swing into the Ancient Greymon. Uh, he is plus 3,000, so he's 15,000, more than enough to run over the Ancient Greymon. Uh, Ancient Greymon will then die, and then I'm going to most likely trigger his uh, effect uh, to play a level 4 or lower hybrid from my hand. Uh, we are going to then play a flame on to then get a search by revealing the top three so i'm going to add the taikamiya to my hand unfortunately no hybrids there uh but and then i'm going to suspend my two analog use to gain two memory putting my opponent to zero so then he just has one action here and then of course piercing will go through uh and then i'll lose the top card of my security hercules kabuterimon will then use his main effect to detach two materials to suspend my flame on will then be run over by the arbormon so a really nice combo there uh, 
especially because I don't have a Digimon coming out of the breeding area. So realistically, the only way I can gain my opponent uh, is if I do have an Agunimon to Digivolve uh, over my Marcus. Uh, or if my opponent puts up a blocker, then I can't do anything and will have to wait a couple turns. But then the, by that point, my opponent will be in a pretty good position to take it. We're just going to see an Argomon level 5 thrown down for 8. Now, I don't think that was necessarily the correct play. I probably would have just passed in his uh, position, but it, it didn't really matter because I had the Agunimon anyways. Uh, so, uh, game 2, I'm going to start again, and then I'm going to play the Analog Youth. Unfortunately, don't open a level 3, but I'm going to be able to get one uh, because Analog Youth can add any of those Digimon. So, I'm going to grab the Flame Mon. So, if I do grab uh, another level 3 off of my draw, then I can just play Flame Mon to get the search. That was kind of my logic there, as opposed to like getting the Flame Mon with Piercing, because uh, I'm not sure if I had promo Goonimon in my hand at this point, or if I did, I don't think I had both the Goonimon and Ancient Greymon. So anyways, my opponent will start with two memory. Uh, he's going to Digivolve into the Tentomon for a cost of zero. Uh, and then we're going to see a Mimi Tachikawa played for a four cost, uh, which is pretty nice early game, especially because he can guarantee himself the three memory. And it's even more nice in uh, his specific version of green uh, because he's got access to the hybrid Digimon. So that's really cool. Uh, when he's done using the Mimi, he can just Digivolve it. So then we're going to see uh, the Flamemon uh, Digivolved, uh, which luckily I did have that uh, as well as the Agunimon, and then take the Ancient Greymon. So now I'm already set up uh, to do my full combo. I've got the Ancient uh, Greymon, the Piercing combo uh, and then when it dies I will gain the memory off of the analog use. Uh, so then my opponent is going to start his turn with 3 because of Mimi, bringing out the Tentamon. Uh, if he has a blocker here, it's not really going to do too much against the Piercing. Um, so realistically, all you can do is... Uh, that, that's why that's why this deck is like so hard to deal with, their warp decks in general, because like you can't really interact with their Digimon because they just hide in the breeding area, and then once they bring them out, they die during the end of the turn anyway, so it's like... You, you could you missed your chance to like kill them so my opponent is going to play the uh, mega Kabuterimon for a seven cost which is a really really good card uh, being able to trash the opponent's top security uh, we're going to first atomic inferno uh, putting my uh, agunimon to plus three thousand use security attack plus one and if he's blocked this turn I do gain three memory not that my opponent can't block him um, but we're just going to swing with the agunimon use his effect digivolve into ancient Greymon pay two so now ancient Greymon is plus three security four checks uh, at I believe 16,000 and then drawing a card off of the Coromon as well uh, so we're basically going to go through all of them I don't think there's really anything that green has aside from maybe like a terror cluster or something that is going to interrupt my swing at all so we're going to run through four security cards uh, and then uh, I will probably pass turn here by just playing like another Tamer or maybe a Flamemon or something like that. Uh, I am at one memory, so if I put my opponent to two uh, with the Flamemon there, I'm going to be able to suspend the analog use. So I'm going to play the Flamemon, grab another Flamemon from its effect, uh, and then since it's now at the end of the turn, Ancient Greymon uh, will then die, allowing me to first play the Flamemon from my hand that I just searched, a search again, reveal the top three, and would you look at that, another Flamemon, but this time also get the Marcus as well and not only that but then analog use will be able to suspend uh, and then I'll gain two memory putting me back to zero and hatching a digi egg allowing me to digivolve over it and have a digimon for next turn and would you look at that the piercing flame on is already uh, set up to go so I'm back to zero going to digivolve uh, the flame on uh, and potentially play the Marcus for four I think that might be a pretty decent play so yep I'm going to play the Marcus for four uh, leaving my opponent with for, but I'm not too scared here about really anything he can do. He can't really go Hercules because uh, it'll only have one material off of the Hercules copy term on, uh, so he won't be able to really use the effect. Um, but he will be able to use Mimi a couple times, so that might be a little bit nasty to deal with. Uh, double Mimi is never a, a fun time, uh, especially because they can just rush you down so quickly with that. Uh, so my opponent will start his turn with four. And what are we going to see here? Unless we see, like, we could see, like, a Reflishimon potentially stunning my flame on for the next couple of turns uh, if he does have like a digi absorption target 
uh, he could go into a Nidhogg. That would be a little bit nasty as well. So we're going to see the uh, Woodmon Digivolved for zero. Uh, he can't really use Mimi right now because it doesn't seem like my opponent has the level three. So unfortunately, even with double Mimi, I uh, can't really do anything. But we're going to go um, Needle Spray, swing over one of the Flamemons with the uh, Mega Kabuterimon, which uh, should be suspended right about now. Um, I do apologize, but for that, I'm not sure it's going to be relevant. Uh, and then we're going to go into Ancient Troymon 4-5, which, there we go, is suspended. Uh, and then Ancient Troymon has a cool effect. Of course, he is like Ancient Greymon in the sense that if he is deleted, you get to play a level 4 lower hybrid. Uh, but if you do declare an attack, if your opponent declares an attack, you can then suspend up to two of their Digimon without blockers. So usually it means that your opponent can really only attack with one thing per turn. So even though I have lethal on field, I've got uh, two uh, Flamons. I also believe I had the hybrid. Um, it's not possible to go for game because not only does my opponent have a blocker, but if I bring out the Flamemon, for example, and then attack with one of them, he'll suspend the others so then I won't be able to attack with that. And then I'll be uh, left with two suspended Digimon that he can either Nidhogg away or then just attack over the following turn. Uh, so it's a little bit of an annoying card to deal with. Um, I do believe I'm going to have an out to it uh, pretty soon. Like I said, I do run Guy Force in this deck, so there we go. I'm definitely going to Guy Force that guy because with him on the field, I cannot uh, push for a game. So I'm going to Guy Force, put my opponent to three. Uh, Ancient Troymon will also float into a hybrid, but I don't believe uh, my opponent had any at the time. Unfortunately, there's not really any level three hybrids uh, for uh, green. I think they only have Petal Dramon and Arbormon at this moment, at least until we get uh, BT7. Uh, so finally, we're going to see a level three Digivolved in the breeding area uh, for my opponent. Still got the Woodmon in play, uh, but he needs to either put up another blocker um, or deal with the Flamemon on the field, because otherwise I will be able to push for game. So we are going to then see a Weedmon Digivolve for one, which is a pretty cool card in the Digi Burst decks. Uh, allows you to gain a memory if he is detached uh, for a material, but he is also only 3,000 DP, so he's really, really weak for a level four, uh, especially with like Geo Greymon running around the meta. You kind of got to be careful uh, if you are playing that card. DP uh, stats you do actually matter in a lot of scenarios. We're then going to see a Mega Kabuterimon Digivolve for three, and just like that, uh, it will pass back over to me. I do have. Uh, the two flame on so I'm going to swing with one of them he's going to block the first one I'm going to swing with the second one uh, which will die to security there are Felicium on there but it's not going to matter because I'm then just going to digivolve Marcus Damon aka me into a Goonimon and attack for game so guys that is going to be the game hopefully you enjoyed and let me know what you think about red hybrid uh, down in the comments below but thank you for watching and we'll see you next time